gonna get through this, Jackie. You mean too much to me. Darling, we will. We will not allow Bill Spencer to turn our lives or that beautiful baby into a scandal. You know, it took everything in me to stop me from just jumping out into that audience and just punching him right in the face. Oh, oh I could see that headline now. Bill Spencer attacked by Roman statue. <laughs> He's not going to get the upper hand. He won't. Great job. Great job, considering this was always Brooks' project and you had to step in at the last minute. Great job. Thanks. Your Uncle Thorne helped me put it together. But I have to say, Really could have used Brooke's input. Yeah, well, the next while we have to get along without her. Oh, Stephanie, what are you doing here? Um, I'd like to speak with you. Mm, and my afternoon was going so well. May I come in? Yet here you are at my doorstep. It's as if you missed me. Oh, if I missed you, I would have invited you to come back to the company. Oh, right. I'll hold my breath. Uh, I wouldn't if I were you, actually. Um, I came by to suggest that uh, your leave of absence should be permanent. Everything we do at Forrester involves Brooke. She's a tremendous asset to this company. But Grandma has to realize that. She really hates to admit that, too. That sucks, because if she cared about this company as much as she claims, she'd back off and acknowledge Brooke's contributions. It, that, this is so messed up. You know, Brooke belongs here. Thomas, this is only temporary. As I've said before, as soon as this bad press dies down, Brooke is coming back. And Dad... You have to know. Grandma and Steffi are going to fight you on that. You're asking me to leave Forrester permanently? Enjoy yourself. Concentrate on your family. Stephanie, I know what's best for my family and me. I've had a very successful career for many years while raising my children. You may have spread yourself a little thin when it came to Rick and Bridget. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you have a little boy. He's at home with you. <laughs> Why not concentrate on him? Help him with his homework. Go to his baseball games, his soccer games. I mean, relish a time like this. You, you, you've been given a wonderful opportunity. I wasn't given an opportunity. It was shoved down my throat by you and your granddaughter. And if you think I'm buying this little goodwill routine, you are completely out of your mind. Mm. The lights are out. Mm. The press is gone. Mm -hmm. And my goddess can relax now. Well, the villagers certainly turned on Venus, didn't they? They all but stoned me. But I'm here. Mm. And we're together. Mm. Forever. And that's all that matters. No one is going to pull us apart, darling. Gosh, I just... Mmm, Venus. Mm. God, you are beautiful. Mm. Your powers are overwhelming. Oh, oh I just want to kiss you and I want to touch you. Sorry to interrupt, Owen. I need you for a minute. Look, I will be right back. Don't... Tough, don't you move. Don't you make me this way too long. Jean Pierre is on the phone. He's asking for a comment. Oh, God. All right, I'll tell him something. <sighs> oh, my statue returns to. 
Don't say one word, oh chiseled hunk of stone. I want you to start right around here. And I want you to work your way up really slowly to here. I want you to just savor every inch of me. Yes. Oh. 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 <laughs> Soft lips. Heal me with your kisses, your luscious kisses. Worship Venus like you know she loves to be worshipped. And don't rush, magnificent marble man. You know that Venus likes it very, very slow. Continue to follow my commands and do not, I repeat, do not move your lips unless it's to kiss me, your goddess. I never really understood where all the bad blood comes from between grandmother and Brooke. Very complicated history between those two. Yeah, I, I get that, Dad, but that's exactly what it is. It's, it's history, but we never seem to be able to work through it. It get beyond what happened last week, t ten years ago, whatever. And a big part of it is because Grandma won't let go of her resentment towards Brooke. Your Grandma's dislike of Brooke is something I've been dealing with most of my adult life. Honestly, I don't see your grandma really going easy on Brooke anytime soon. Just give it up, Stephanie. I'm not going to leave the company for good. This is only temporary. And as Thomas said, the press is going to get really bored with the scandal and move on to the next. And then I'm going back to the company. I just don't understand what's in that kid's head. <sighs> Why? Because he supports me? I just simply don't understand him. Well, he's an intelligent young man. He's a very rational human being. Yeah, I guess he's more like his father than I realized. Yes, and I'm very grateful for that because just like his father, he knows what's important to the family and the business. He seems to think that if you and I can make peace, all will be right with the world. Mm. Hope seems to think that too. Yeah, I guess a lot of people would be happy if we, if we made peace with one another. Do you think that's possible? No. What's transpired between us runs too deep. I think we should just try and avoid any future conflict, and I think we should minimize our contact with one another. Isn't that why I took a leave of absence? So you wouldn't be burdened by the side of me in the office? I left out of respect for you and Steffi, because that's what you wanted. And yet here you are, trying to create more conflict. Why, Stephanie? Why are you so hell-bent on fighting with me? Oh, yes, my 
my feet. They're so tired after such a long day of spreading love throughout my land. Hmm. Hmm. Leave it. There are no phones in my kingdom. <sighs> oh, God. Oh. I got that. I got it. Okay. You stay right here and do not move an inch. Must you leave me, please? Please don't leave me. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You couldn't leave your goddess, could you? Oh, no. I want you to sprinkle my shoulders with your kisses. Oh, chiseled stone man with rock-hard herbs. <laughs> Do you know not even Michelangelo could have crafted such an It. I can't stand it. I want you to devour me. I want to feel the weight of you on my lips. Kiss me, my beautiful Otalis. You know, Dad, Grandma's done some pretty hardcore manipulating herself. <laughs> I'm well aware. You don't have to remind me. <laughs> Dad, she faked a heart attack to try to get you and Mom back together. I mean, I wanted that too, but it's a little extreme. Not one of your grandma's finer moments, I must admit. Believe it or not, I do not enjoy these conflicts. Mm-hmm. I find that really hard to believe. Though there have been times when you didn't dislike me quite so much. Refresh my memory. Well, for one, there was this beautiful tribute you made for me at Forrester Creations a few years ago. A momentary lapse on my part. If I may quote you, without Brooke, this company wouldn't be where it is today. I have never denied the contributions that you've made <coughs> to this company. Oh, good. See? There you go. You're admitting it, right? I'm not all that. You've had your good moments, professionally. And every time, just every single time that I have turned around and tried to trust you, you do one of your mistakes, and I end up with pie in my face. And that takes away any opportunity that might arise that we could resolve the differences between us. <coughs> Stephanie, please. Neither of us is getting any younger. Now, if you want to spend the rest of your years squabbling with me, so be it. I just think it's a huge waste of time. Oh. Oh, my delectable statue is playing cool making me beg for my kiss, you naughty, naughty statue. You know Venus is getting awfully hot. What is my Roman god going to do to cool me down? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that will work. Oh, I want to touch you. I want to feel Shoulders. Oh, you are such a magnificent creature. Kiss me. Kiss me. Now you will kiss me. You will show Venus how much you crave her. Stop! Wait. Just wait. Venus wants to look into the eyes of her beautiful Adonis. Oh, not really the whole time, just, like, half the time. What on earth do you think you're doing? You, oh. What's going on here? Rick? What the hell are you doing with my wife?
serious, Rick. You better tell me what's going on right now or I'm going to knock you out. I, I believe, my darling, that, that Rick is on a mission. A mission? What, to seduce you? To help Bridget. He believes that you and Bridget belong together with Logan. You know what, Jackie? That's fine, but it still doesn't explain what he's doing here and why he's all made up like me, putting some kind of a move on you. Well, there's more. He, he does want you and Bridget to be together, but he doesn't want me to be left out in the cold. He intends to pursue me. What, and you going to let him? No, of course I'm not. I, I took darling. I didn't know it wasn't you. I had my eyes covered, remember? All right, can I interrupt here? Owen, it is blatantly obvious that you are attracted to my sister, and why wouldn't you be? You share a child with her. I happen to be very attracted to your current wife. Current? What the hell is that supposed no, to no, mean? No, 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 huh? no. Well, Rick has made his intentions perfectly clear. He, um... Well, this isn't the first time he's expressed interest in me. What? He surprised me one night on our rooftop with caviar and champagne. Wait, 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 wait. At our loft? And you didn't tell me about this? Well, darling, I didn't want to upset you, and I thought he'd go away. But clearly I was wrong, and I told him I'm totally committed to my gorgeous, gorgeous husband. You hear that, Rick? Get out of here. No. I'm going to stay right here. But you should get out of here and go home to my sister and your new baby. Okay, so hold on. Did I hear you right? So what are you saying? You're saying that I should go and I should leave you here alone with my wife? Look, she's going to end up with me anyway, okay? Why delay the inevitable? No! Owen! 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 Bastard. Owen! Owen, we mustn't lose our heads over this, okay? Where's your sense of humor? There's nothing funny about you going after my wife, Rick. Why don't you come out here and face me like a man? No, stop it! Stop this nonsense, both of you, right now! I will not have two statues fighting over me. You have all the men in the family on your side, <laughs> now even Tom. But I will always see you for exactly who you are and what you are. You know what, that is fine, Stephanie. I really don't care anymore. I'm done trying to get through to you. Done trying to make peace with you. No matter what I say, you're always going to have this opinion of me anyway. Well, it's what you do in life that defines you, isn't it? This whole thing with Hope and her boyfriend, I mean, that just epitomizes Oh, my God! You are. Stop it! For the last time, that was an accident. <sighs> Ridge has forgiven me. My daughter has forgiven me. When are you going to get... There off? are no accidents in life. Don't you understand that? You have no morals. That's the problem. You never have had any morals. It's, it's just like the really rest of your old. family. You'll never change. You'll always be self-serving and self-involved. Oh, shut up. Just stop it. I am not going to listen to this. Not in my house. We are done here. You're not doing this, are you? Are you faking again? Help me, honey. Stop. Stop pulling this on me, Stephanie, please. We're not playing this game. Get up off the floor and go home. I am finished with this. Finished. 